Mellow greetings, everybody. My name is James. I am from the internet. And I am here today not to review an article or parse a piece of video or something that somebody said. I'm, uh, I'm actually here with a uh, humble and open ask of Joe Biden and the Biden campaign. I, I preface this with saying that uh, after watching the first debate last night between uh, those two fine fellers over there, uh, it was pretty much what people thought it was going to be. It's, it's that. I mean, let's face it, it, it was going to be a dumpster fire. It was going to be Trump screaming and yelling and bloviating. He was, you know, the second the bell rang, he was going to rush the box. He was going to try to confuse Biden. He was going to keep beating him over the head with, you know, the same three sentences and the same three tropes because Trump understands the rule of threes and that if you re repeat something often enough, uh, it gets burned into people's brains, which is why three and a half years later, there are still 30,000 people sitting in large groups going out to see Trump and they chant, lock her up or build the wall, neither of which he's ever going to do, but they chant it anyway because it's been burned into their brains. This is, this is what Trump does. So I watched and saw what most everybody else watched and saw in the debate. And uh, to be honest with you at this point in the, in the campaign, with you know just a little over a month to go before election day, uh, where the mindset is of the Biden campaign, now, I, I know for, for a while, a lot has been made about you know, the DNC and Democratic Party leadership uh, trying their damnedest to get those undecided voters in the middle. Uh, apparently, there are still people that are under the delusion that there is a middle in America now, a, a country that's only had two parties and two ideologies for, for decades. I mean, we have... 70 brands of ketchup and barbecue sauce to choose from, but two parties, two presidents, two ideologies, good versus evil, left versus right, whatever. It's, it's polarizing. And, and that's where we're at. And I keep hearing that the Biden campaign is, is, is trying to find those people in the middle as if there are still people on the face of the planet who watch Donald Trump poop on your dead son in real time on national television and could still turn around and go, ah, but I don't know, you know, that, that Joe Biden, I'm not sure. I, I can't imagine that that's a thing at this point. I, I could be wrong, but I, I can't imagine it's a thing. And yet we look at the advanced polling and it's eerily similar to 2016 where, you know, Joe's polling up three to five points in most of the swing states that he, he needs to win. These are states that Hillary was up by two points, three points, five points a couple of weeks before the election. And it's obvious that, that Biden's he's looking for that, that extra 3%. How do I, how do I put the nail in Trump's coffin? How do I get that extra 3%? The, the Biden campaign, that's what they're looking for. They, they know what the low number is. You know, they know roughly how many people are going to turn out to vote for Trump. It's not like there's a whole bunch of voters out there that Donald Trump hasn't tapped into previously, you know, with his sparkling wit. Uh, you know, they know what the number is, whatever it is, 58 million, 60 million, 62 million, however many people are going to pull the red lever, they pretty much know. It, it's a set number. Trump knew what it was going to be. And, you know, when, when he was meeting with Reince Priebus and, and Steve Bannon and, and the, that whole posse, you know, back after uh, Obama won his second term. You know, this was discussed. It, it's not a mystery. So I'm going to throw something out there. Now, Joe Biden, Joe Biden's people, I am what you would refer to as the radical left. Not what Trump would refer to as the radical left, because Trump thinks Nancy Pelosi is the radical left. Which, I mean, it's comical, but... It also hurts me a little bit being somebody who is actually of the radical left that Trump's out there telling people that Nancy Pelosi is, you know, the one writing the radical script these days. Uh, I'm that radical left. I'm that guy. OK, um, the undecided voters in this country, they're not coming from the imaginary middle, Joe. 
the undecided voters, the undecided left voters, the undecided Democrats, they're me. I'm the one that every time you say, I'm not the socialist, I beat the socialist. I'm the one who cringes on the inside and then starts to have doubts and then is reminded that Trump is literally a fascist. But I digress. Joe, there's, there's got to be two, three, four million people on the left, not, not the Democratic Party left, the left, who want nothing more than to vote Donald Trump out of office because he's trash. He's a trash human being. He is a trash president. This isn't something that's up for debate. Everybody on the left acknowledges this, regardless of how far to the left you are. Trump is complete and total trash. Everybody gets that. And yet there are still people over on the far left. They're begging to be acknowledged, Joe. They're, they're looking for something. Now, I'm not saying you owe anybody shit. I'm not saying the Democratic Party owns anybody shit. Y'all can recruit the people you want to. You can seek the votes you want to. You have your own strategy. And that strategy is the same strategy that they ran with in 2016. And Hillary Clinton was winning in the polls. And then two weeks before the election, Donald Trump pulled out his Cambridge Analytics data and his Facebook advertising plan. And he vote suppressed about 120 counties across five states where all he knew he had to do was drive down Democratic voter turnout for him to flip a few random counties, seemingly random counties, uh, which ended up tipping the election in his favor. Uh, they already know the board. They know the math. They did this once before and they won. So no, Joe, you don't owe anybody anything. The Democrats don't owe anybody anything. Parties, it doesn't matter. I, I get it. What I'm telling you, Joe, is that there's a margin of error. And whoever has the most votes at the end of the night on election day, when they splash the numbers up on the TV, is going to have an enormous statistical advantage uh, and is going to be able to rain down fire and brimstone upon the remaining uncounted mail-in ballots, of which there are going to be tens of millions. And if you're within that margin of error, and God forbid Donald Trump carries those states... He's going to beat you because he's going to have two months with all the judges he just put in office, ripping up those mail-in ballots one at a time. Joe, there is only one way you win this, that you get the slam dunk that you posterize Donald Trump. You got to win by five points in every goddamn swing state by the end of the night on election night. I don't know if you're going to find that many votes, Joe, in the imaginary middle. But what I'm going to tell you that I know for sure is that there are millions of registered voters. And they are what you would deem to be the far left. And they are most assuredly not looking for you to become a socialist. And they're not looking for you to institute a 48% tax and, you know, turn us into Norway. But Joe, you got to give them something. You refuse to even acknowledge that they're human beings at this point, that they don't count, that their vote doesn't matter, that you're perfectly fine. Oh, well, if you don't like that, you should vote for the other guy. Yeah, that, that's a popular uh, piece of video that runs along uh, in far left circles and on Reddit threads and in YouTube. Joe, I'm begging you. I'm imploring you or your people or the leadership council or whoever's running your campaign. For the love of God, Joe, Medicare for all, real reform on student loans. Something, Joe, because if you win those swing states by five points on election night, it's over. And this part of the nightmare ends. I'm begging you, just think about it. Because I, I, I can't do another four years of this, man. I really can't. The country can't. The world can't. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. What's, what's it worth to you to find out?